Yeah. French very long. This is gonna be a good one. Pulls him in with a tandem, picks him up, toss him to the corner. Punko is so good at managing his meters. I was mentioning this earlier. Early on in the fight, he, he doesn't get too aggressive. He'll just use these light strings aside from when he gets a hit and just build his meter that way. And that gives him the ability to go for that Shoryu FABC mix up. Oh no, big jump in there from Evans. Yeah. Punko missed the combo. I haven't seen him miss in a long time. And he actually got a hit off of it. He like let, it led to almost a setup, but then he dropped that too. Oh, great response from Evans. He was a little bit flustered by the error. Uh, he didn't recover it as well as like Sako did earlier. Yeah. Okay. Evans really dominating. Punko in the corner. Punko out with an uppercut. He turn it into anything. Oh. He blew a lot of meter with that attempt too. Yeah, and I'm, I'm not sure what Punko was going for after that. The EX uppercut would have would have beat that out, but he couldn't. He just didn't expect Flame Kick to come out. He might be testing Evans. You might be looking to see if he's more prone to blocking or jumping. Great reaction from Evans. Don't test that man. Yeah, lots of backdashing as well. Using the invincible startup of the backdash to only eat a jab in that entire process. Rather than something much worse. Nice! Low, low jab, low wrecker. Finds an EX wrecker. Yeah, that one was a little predictable. Every Fei yeah, Long yeah. wants to get the command grab once they get into the corner. And he let Punko out just there. You still got plenty of life here. Oh, got the lead. He has not been going for command throws. No. It's been uppercut, uppercut, uppercut. No. Okay, here we go. I wonder if he's training Evans to take some of these. Oh, the cross up. That Punko with the drop. An error. Puko had that one wrapped up, yeah. dropped it, and Evans will take game one. Yes. Sometimes, you know, things get a little bit sloppy, man. They get a little bit messy, and it's all about who recovers quickly. Yeah, can you recognize the fact that you're missing something and make an adjustment? That's, that's a tricky thing to do. Second time he's missed that one. Yes. Evans not spaced in the right area for Puko to dash forward and grab. Evans is walking back, not in. Even though this is the first round, Evans has to realize he's got a huge psychological advantage after going up one game against the guy that got third place at Evo last year. And not try to overplay his hand. And the anti-air ultra one. It's not going to be huge damage, just if we can get a good setup for going off of that. Definitely get a setup opportunity. Oh. Off to go for the command grab, and he'll have even better setups here. Oh, and another... Now he's going for those throws. It was all uppercuts last game, now it's all throws. Wow. Yeah. No commentator's curse here. He's not gonna do another <laughs> one. He's not gonna do another one. Empty jump low, I respect yep. that. That was that was very smart. And uppercut. There it is. Hey, come on. I don't know, was was the first game some inception? I don't was know. He implanting ideas? I think he might have. We'll have to see. Training your opponent is an incredible skill. Smart to throw him backwards. Wow, he does not use that sniper at all, no, man. No, Not even the stand spear punch. Oh, oh, option select doesn't get it. And he's missed. punished by Evans. Yeah, just a meager punish, and there's that FADC EX Shoryu. Evans still looking strong here. Nice. Can't run into the feet like that. Oh, oh no, and no FADC from Evans! That could have been a much bigger punish. Oh, just the wait and grab. Oh, man. He's gonna go for the chip kill. There's nowhere to go. If he had jumped forward, he would have landed and been sucked in and chipped to death. Yeah, there's literally nowhere to go when you have that much life left. It's gonna be a free chip for a Cephal Super. Yeah, and, and Evans just let that one get away from him. Pugo well, had won it as well and dropped it. Yeah. Hey, Uppercuts are notoriously unsafe, so you expect them a lot more when a player has two stocks of meter to cancel. But Pugo, very well known for not caring about that at all. 
Let's just do it. I mean, how do you read that? You don't. Wow, just jabs him with stun. Tannen for a little extra meter, and now it's matched around for Punto. What up, like Evan started this off so strong. Let's see if Evan can pull it back. Evans has definitely done very well to move Puko Seth into the corner. Puko has been using the wall jump and the dive kick to get out of there and confuse Evans. A situation like this, Puko could have two bars until the end of the fight. And now Evan is going to have to play so scared. I do it. River dance. One last mix up. There it is.